Okay, CompSci, welcome back to another Khan Academy edition of CompSci. Um, today we are going to be um, learning how to use variables. Okay, and I know you guys have used variables on Co on Code Academy and your experts. Okay, so this should be a breeze for us. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Okay, either you're gonna go to new um, my programs and find the original Winston that you created, or if you, if you didn't save that guy, that's fine. Okay, just click on Intro to Variables again. Okay, and then pull up a fresh new Winston. Okay, so for this one, okay, we talked, we, um, we inserted uh, fill data to uh, color in our ellipses, and then we inserted ellipse data to create um, the circles for his face, his eyes, and his mouth. Okay, here, um, now, okay, it's, it's, it's going to come out the same way, but we're going to use a variable, okay, to replace the size, the width and height of his eyes. Okay, we're going to call that variable, okay, eye size, okay, eye size, okay, okay. Now, because we want them both the same exact height and, height and width, okay, it will save us some time to write a variable for some of these things. Now, for this one, it's pretty short, it might not save us that much time, but in the future when you're working with multiple um, things on a face, like say like you're creating arms that are the same height and length, or legs that are the same height and length, okay, it might save you some time to actually to write a variable out here okay, and then switch these up. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to leave his face the same, okay, we have one face, not changing that, okay, we're going to leave his mouth the same, okay, but for the size of his eyes, these two, our two ellipses here, we're gonna we're gonna just write in the variable. We're just gonna write in eye size. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of all these and then write them in, so you can see, you can get a nice visual of what I mean. Okay, so his, his left eye, eye size. Eye size. Oh, okay. Same old Winston, only we created him using variables. Okay, let's space that out. Put that next to our comma. Okay. Easy way. Same same thing. Just went about a different way. Used vari use a variable there to replace the width and the height. What I also want us to get in the habit of doing is to also label, start labeling different sections of our, of what we're creating. So when we go back, if we want to change something, we know where it is. Okay, so for instance, for our lips here, I believe this is his left eye, but I'm going to, I'm going to click on here and delete something. Okay, good. Yes, that is his, that is, well, his left eye, to our left, to our left. Okay, so right over that ellipse, I'm going to put left I'm gonna do my my double slash marks let's not forget about that left eye so I know the one underneath is my right eye right eye okay this is a simple one okay simply screenshot this okay remember command shift four bullseye okay. and send this to the uh, intro to variables forum Best of luck until next time.